Well, it's everybody did it. Mm -hmm. Anybody that lived in this area or part of Virginia, uh, they had hogs on the farm. So, of course, they had a smokehurst and they uh, had a hog slaughter every year and they kept their own meat and used it. We don't have anybody around here that has a hog killing anymore. Nobody has any hogs. Carl is the closest you're going to get to for a pig for a long, long time. I mean, any hogs that are here now are raised in confinement for uh, Murphy Brown for Smithfield. So nobody really has any, any hogs anymore. We've always, we always would catch the pig. And then we'd number 200, 250-pound hog man. We would catch the hog and turn him upside down. And then you'd have a man that had a nice long knife, and he would just uh, stick the knife right in the hog's heart, right through his throat. He'd go right down through his throat and through his heart. The quicker the dog would, hog would die, <coughs> the better it was. And then you'd take him after you did this, and you'd, you'd have a big pot, and you'd have it full of water, and you'd have this water in a, in a it wouldn't be boiling, but it would be about 180 degrees or so. And you would put the hog, you would roll the hog in the water, and you would move him around and move him around. And you always had somebody that was a hog scalder, that's what they called it. Somebody that would scald the hog so the hair would come off. The better the hair would come off, the better the hog cleaned up, the better the hog looked after you had slaughtered, hung him on the gals poles. So when we get a fresh ham, We'll start right here in this box. So let's pretend this was a fresh ham. We would take this ham, throw it down in there because we want to make sure that that salt goes up in his hock end. And, and then we will take the ham, we would uh, put salt all on it and then we lay it in a pile and we lay it flat. So after we do that, then we'll have a, long, a pile of hams and they'll lay flat and we'll have a layer ham, a layer of salt, layer ham, layer of salt. After a week, we take the hams out of salt and then actually put them, lay them on their side. So all these hams have been salted and resalted. The rule of thumb is a day and a half um, in salt per pound of meat. So theoretically, if you started with a 20 pound ham, you leave it in salt for 30 days. We don't have a refrigeration. We depend on Mother, Mother Nature to supply us with our refrigerator. So, we, um, so we'll leave them in salt. So about mid-March, we will take the hams out of salt, and then we'll wash each one in warm water, and then we will coat it in black pepper and hang it up. On the first day when you killed hogs, you would uh, finish killing the hogs, and you would have liver, fresh liver for lunch. Liver, liver and onion gravy. For some reason or another, I think I was born on a hog killing. <laughs> <laughs>